Good morning, Sierra Vista Eagles. Happy Monday, everyone. Today is Monday, December 7th. I hope you had a wonderful weekend this weekend. It's getting nice and breezy and nice and cold as the winter season has started. And today, who do I have helping me out with announcements today? Hi, I'm Mahmoud Bey, fifth grade Miss Gardner's class. Hi, I'm Lorelai Proa, fifth grade Miss Gardner's class. All right, thank you so much for being here, my announcers, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Today we will get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. Can everyone please stand up? Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Can we all have a seat? School announcements. This week's school announcements are, well, school announcements. Happy Monday, everyone. Nine more days until the winter holiday. Teachers, there is professional development and faculty today. Reflective question of the week. Who is your hero and why are they your hero? Make sure you are attending school every day. Did you know reading every day on Mayan? Are you, are you reading every day on Mayan on our new reading program? Did you know if you read 20 minutes a day, you have a 90% chance of going to college? Make sure you get your reading minutes in every day. We will have a winter reading challenge for the most minutes read. Make sure your parents are completing your school exterior survey so you can get your prize in the mail. Online Scholastic Book Fair ends on Friday, December 11th. See Class Dojo for ordering details. Next week, we will have Winter Holiday Spirit Week. Check out all that fun that will be happening. Winter Holiday Spirit Week. Let's get into the holiday spirit. Monday, Christmas Sweater Day. Tuesday, Cozy Hat Day. Wednesday, take a picture with your Christmas tree or share your family Christmas card. Thursday, get your Christmas list ready for Santa. He's coming to Sierra Vista, but not to Sierra Vista. He'll be coming virtually, so get your list ready. And then Friday, winter pajama day. Okay, these are the top minutes for each class. First, we have pre-K, two hours and 23 minutes. Kindergarten, 32 hours and 23 minutes. First grade, six hours and 18 minutes. Second grade, 53 hours and 33 minutes. Third grade, 36 hours and 24 minutes. Fourth grade, 36 hours and 55 minutes. Fifth grade, 14 hours and 31 minutes. Sixth grade, 24 hours and 21 minutes. The top class with the most minutes is second grade, 53 hours and 33 minutes. Remember, reading our leaders. Parent announcements. Please complete the school experience survey. We want 100% participation. Your child will receive a prize in the mail if you complete. See Class Dojo for more information. Attendance is a focus this year. Make sure your child is attending every day. Make sure you are checking Class Dojo for private messages daily. Stay connected with Sierra Vista. Having tech issues? reach out to Ms. Lewis on Class Dojo. We now have COVID-19 testing at El Serena Middle School for all families and students. See Class Dojo for the sign-up link. We are encouraging all families to get tested. It's free. Parents, this is the last week for Scholastic Book Fair orders. They make great gifts for Christmas. Parents, thank you so much for all the help you do our teachers get the learning done at home.
birthday celebrations. This week's birthday celebrations are Adolin Landros, December 12th. And Janelle, he has December 13th. Happy birthday. Make sure you ask your parents to get you a McFlurry from McDonald's. This week, this week's Eagle winners. Make sure you're logging on each day on time, participating by submitting work, answering, answering questions, and having your camera on, and completing all work on plat platforms. You could win next week. This week's winner, Celeste Bendez, first grade. Joshua Gomez, second grade. Isabella Castro, third grade. Leilani Antunes, third grade. Slides Nunes, kinder. Hunter Ferreres, BTK. Brianna Rubio, sixth grade. And myself, fifth grade. Fourth, Kevin Padilla, third, fourth grade. Then, Leilani Rodriguez, kinder. I see this part, right? Yeah, I see it. You're on mute, Lorelai. You're on mute. Unmute yourself. Sorry. Can you please edit that out? All right. School experience survey. Has your parents completed? Has your parents completed the school experience survey? Here are the list of this week's students and names that have parents that have completed the survey and screenshot Miss Lewis their completion certificate. Remind your parents to fill it out. The information is on Class Dojo. You can get a prize next week. And here is Ms. Arias with the names of the students. You're on mute. You're on mute, Ms. Arias. Thank you, Lorelai. Go ahead and mute yourself. Um, and once again, it's very important. We still have a lot of parents that have not done it. So next week, we're going to be reaching out to parents individually. So this week, the students that's parents turned in their completion certificate to Miss Lewis are starting with Miss Cardenas's class. We had no one in her class this week that actually turned in. So Miss Cardenas's class, make sure uh, you guys uh, remind your parents to fill out the school experience survey. Next, we have Ms. Chow's class. This week for Ms. Chow's class, we have Miles Carranza, Ethan Correa, Francis Fodd, Louis Madrigal, Kaylee Melendez, and Angel Mendez, Annabelle Reese. So watch out for the next two or three weeks, you're gonna get a prize in the mail. Mr. Garcia's class, we have Eva Alarcón, Lino Antunes, and it looks like those are the only two this week that Mr. Garcia's class had. Miss Medina's class, we have Luna Cielo and Allison Correa, Emmanuel Merlos, Jeremiah Robert. Congratulations, you'll be getting a prize in the mail. Mr. Munoz's class, you have Allison Chavarin, Sofia Madrigal. Congratulations. Ms. Palicio's class, you have Katarin De Leon, Victoria Jimenez, Mark Rosales, and David Tellez. Congratulations. Mr. Perez's class, you have Camila Mendez, Ethan Nunez, Mayla Rosales. Congratulations. Diana, I mean, Ms. Tellez's class, you have Flavio Alcala, Eric ba ba Baeza, Leila Baiza, Alexa de Leon Robledo, Clyde Nunez. Congratulations. Thank you so much for getting those into us. And our ET Clay class. We, we have signed up for Alexa messaging. That's my Alexa Please talking in the background. Just ignore up. her. Go to your Alexa app. Uh, David Juarez and Jade Jonah Robber. Congratulations to all of those students for and thank your parents for doing your school experience survey. And we'll be reaching out to your parents once more to make sure that they get those school experience surveys in. Thank you so much. Let me see what we else we got going on here. 
And today we're having our special Leader in Me Recognition Awards for all of our students that are being recognized for the month of November. And remember, how can you be an Eagle Leader next month? Are you logging in every day into Schoology? Are you on time? Are you up on time? Are you completing and submitting all of your assignments? Are you participating in class discussions by having your, your, your video on and you're responding to your teacher and you're chatting in the chat room? Are you showing what you know every single day to your teacher? Are you being safe, respectful, and responsible during distance learning time? And are you doing your part as an Eagle leader every day, even at home, making sure you're up doing what you need to do as an Eagle leader? So, uh, and making your parents happy that you're taking care of business at school. So that's, that's how you get an award here at Sierra Vista Elementary. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and recognize all of our awardees this month, starting with Mr. Garcia's class, uh, starting with Christopher Gomez, congratulations for getting the Leader in Me Synergize Award. Christopher is a leader in his classroom. He exemplifies, exemplifies great work ethic and sets the standard when working and leading in his groups. Congratulations, Christopher. Next, Dylan Healy Saucedo is being recognized for the leader in me putting first things first. Dylan is a hard working student. He always sets his priorities of finishing his assignments and working with his classmates first to achieve his academic goals. Congratulations, Dylan. And I miss our conversations at recess and lunch when we used to hang out last year. Fifth grade, Ms. Cardenas' class. Ethan Retena is being recognized for the leader in me begin with the end in mind. And what does Ms. Cardina say about Ethan? She says, Ethan is an excellent student, excellent student. He completes all of his assignments, participates in class discussions, and is always asking clarifying questions so he knows what to do. Congratulations, Ethan. Next in Ms. Cardenas' class, we have Anissa Luna, who is being recognized for being proactive. And what does Ms. Cardenas say about Anissa? Anissa takes charge of her learning by submitting assignments, asking questions, and having excellent attendance. Attendance is very important. And you know, Ms. Arias always talks about attendance. Every minute that you're not here is a minute that you're not learning. So Ms. Arias wants you to be here every single day, even if you're at home. She has quickly become a dependable leader in class. Wow, Anissa, it's good to hear that you are developing to, into an awesome leader, even, at, even if we're learning virtually from home. Fourth grade, Mr. Perez's class, Samantha Chamorro is being recognized for always putting first things first. Congratulations, Samantha. What does Mr. Perez say about Samantha? Samantha is an excellent student who completes all of her assignments on time. She is very responsible and always tries her best in everything she does. Samantha consistently participates in classroom discussions. Congratulations, Samantha. I'm so glad that you're doing so well in fourth grade. Next, we have Delilah Morales, who is being recognized for being proactive. And what does Mr. Perez say? He says, Delilah is a dedicated student who always has a positive attitude. She is an active participant during every Zoom lesson. And we know it's very important to always be an active participant during class. Delilah is always prepared and ready to learn. Congratulations, Delilah. Third grade, Miss Medina's class. Isabella Castro is being recognized for being proactive. Congratulations, Isabella. What does Miss Medina say about you? She says, Isabella is always prepared for her daily Zoom meetings. She has a positive attitude and is very responsible. She loves sharing ideas with her peers and you can always count on her to participate in class. Congratulations, Isabella, for having a positive, positive attitude and always being responsible and ready to learn and having all your materials ready to go. 
Next, we have Matthew Hernandez. Congratulations, Matthew, for, for being recognized for beginning with the end in mind. And what do they say about Matthew in class? Matthew is always present, ready, and eager to learn. He makes sure to complete assignments in a timely manner. He is hardworking and persistent. Matthew does not hesitate to ask for help if he needs it because he knows it will help him learn and become a better student. Congratulations, Matthew. Second grade, Ms. Palicio's class. We have Diana Celio. Congratulations, Diana. Diana's being recognized for always thinking win-win. Diana always gives positive praise to classmates on Zoom and Seesaw. She points out that playing Nearpod games together is more important than who the winner is because it's about working together. Congratulations, Diana. Next, we have David Theyes, and he's being recognized for putting first things first. And what do they say about David in class? They say David models completing all of his assignments first before doing any extracurricular activities. He turns in his work all on his own and is usually early when he's done. Good for you for finishing your tasks even before they're even due. Congratulations, David. First grade, Miss Chow. Congratulations to Ethan Correas. Ethan is being recognized for always being prepared and ready for class. He is organized and focused. He participates in class and completes all of his assignments online and on the Class Dojo platform. Congratulations, Ethan, for being proactive and getting that work done. And you're only in first grade. You're going to do amazing things when you're in sixth grade. I can't wait to see. Next, we have Vincent Berrumen. Congratulations, Vincent. You are being recognized for putting first things first. And what do they say about Vincent in class? Vincent is always punctual to class. He realizes what his goals are and he focuses to achieve them before he does anything else. He works hard to complete all of his assignments online and on the Class Dojo platform. Congratulations, Vincent, for getting your work done and focusing. Kindergarten, Ms. Tellez class. Congratulations to Alexa de Leon for being proactive. Alexa has improved in doing things independently. Congratulations for being more independent, Alexa. She is focused and participates in class. When done with Zoom, she completes her other assignments. All right, Alexa, that's what we want, a focused learner, and you're only in kindergarten. Awesome. Next, we have Alexander Morales. Congratulations, Alexander. And he is being recognized for putting first things first. What do they say about Alexander in kindergarten? They say Alexander has improved on all his daily classroom tasks. He is present and participates regularly. And as a result of making sure that he's present and participating, he has improved in all of his academic areas. Congratulations, Alexander. I can't wait to see how much more you have improved by the end of the school year. TKK, Mr. Munoz's class. Congratulations to Malia Salazar for beginning with the end in mind. And what do they say about Malia? Malia does a great job of finishing all of her assignments. Malia is always trying her best in class. And that's all we want, Malia. We want your best every day. We want you to try your best. Congratulations, Malia. Next, we have Isaiah Martinez, who is always sharpening the saw. Isaiah has been working hard, really hard to do his assignments independently. Good for you, Isaiah, that you are becoming an independent learner on your own. Isaiah is constantly asking questions to sharpen his learning. And that's very important, everyone. You always have to ask questions because that is a sign of an intelligent student. And you always wanna make sure that you're, you know what you're supposed to be doing, right? So congratulations, Isaiah, um, on sharpening the saw. ETK Miss Infantes class. Congratulations to Zoe Alvarado for sharpening the saw. Zoe is always well rested because it is so important to go to sleep early so that you have energy and your mind is ready to focus on all the learning every single day. Zoe enjoys her exercising and she chooses to eat healthy snacks every single day. Congratulations, Zoe. 
Next, we have Hunter Feriante, who is always sharpening his saw. Hunter is very active. He enjoys dancing. Ooh, I'm going to ask Hunter to show me some dance moves and exercising every day. He also makes healthy choices when choosing his snacks. And it's very important to be making healthy choices, especially right now in the winter time. We want to be eating healthy because we don't want to get sick. We don't want to get cold. And we want to get all the good vitamins in our system to be able to stay healthy. Congratulations, Hunter. And with that, I'm going to end it. I want to wish everyone a wonderful week. Have a great week. And remember here at Sierra Vista, Eagles here are always leading, learning, and achieving together. Have a great week, everybody. Mamut and Lorelai, do you want to unmute yourself and say goodbye? Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.